financial experts are invited to share the new stories of China's finance with us. Since reform and opening up 40 years ago, China has made remarkable achievements in the history of human development in terms of rapid economic growth, deep financial reform and continuous improvement of people's livelihood. This also provides unprecedented development space for participating foreign banks and foreign capital referenced banks. Since joining the WTO, the business scope of foreign banks has gradually expanded and they have begun to invest in Chinese banks as strategic partners, gradually being granted national treatment. After more than four decades of development, how has China's financial industry transformed in terms of scale, structure, forms and international influence? What changes have foreign banks and foreign capital reference banks The guests of this new financial story, Wang Yunfeng, Wang Yunfeng, one of the earliest domestic bankers that set foot in the international capital market, boasts more than 30 years of experience. He now serves as head of global banking and markets, China at HSBC, and vice chairman designated at HSBC Bank China Company Limited. Hello, I'm Wang Yunfeng. 我一九八八年毕业，就进入银行工作，至今已经有三十一年的时间。其中，有十年的时间，我是在中资银行工作；有二十一年的时间，我是在外资银行负责中国的业务。所以，我对中国这三十多年金融业的改革开放有着非常深刻的、亲身的体验。过去的时候。都是给中资银行传授我们的经验，传授我们的技术，进行很多培训。现在，我们需要向很多很多的中资银行学习经验、学习技术，有很多很多互相之间非常平等的沟通和交流。这就可以说明，经过四十年的改革和开放，中国的金融业已经深深地融入到世界的。金融业当中，而且成为世界金融业当中的非常重要的一个力量。中国的改革开放，给外资金融机构带来了越来越多的商机。比如汇丰，我们已经逐年的增加对中国的业务投入和人员的投入。那么至今，我们已经从几十人发展到将近三万人。我们的资产已经达到几百亿美金。那么外资银行在中国的发展呢？我们觉得，呃，可以分为三个重要的阶段：一是二零零一年到二零零三年，中国加入世贸组织，逐步放开了人民币业务对外资银行的开放，也提高了外资持股的比例。零三年以后，大量的外资银行开始。参股中资银行，那么汇丰在这个过程当中，我们参股了交行，我们也参股了上海银行、平安保险。汇丰是外资银行当中对中资企业、金融企业投入最大的外资银行。第二个阶段是二零零六年到二零零七年，外资银行的子公司中外合资银行。逐步实现了国民待遇。二零零七年，包括汇丰在内的四家外资银行子公司在中国成立，我们可以全面的开展人民币业务，实现了国民待遇。在这一年，外资银行的资产总额增加了百分之三十五到一点二五万亿。第三个阶段就是近两年。二零一七年到二零一九年，中国进一步统一了外资银行准入标准，取消了银行业外资持股的比例，实施内外一致的持股标准，外资银行真正的开始享受国民待遇
。那么在这一年，我们的外资银行业务开始进入加速度时期，我们的业务从此以后将进入进一步的黄金时期。Foreign banks in China have been integrated into China's reform and opening up, from their entry to the Chinese market, to the local cooperation in 2007, to holding shares in Chinese banks who enjoy the benefits of China's economic development, to helping Chinese companies to go out, and to supporting global governance through the Belt and Road Initiative. How are foreign banks doing today after 40 years of development? 外资银行从初期的几家银行、几十个人，到今年五月，已经有五十四个国家、二百一十七家银行在中国开设了九百九十五个经营性机构，还有五百多代表处。外资银行的总资产规模已经达到三点三万亿人民币，比二零零一年初中国加入世贸组织整整多了九倍，还要多。从业务发展来看，外资银行的业务非常稳健，非常良好。一九年的统计，外资银行的平均资本充足率达到了十八点三一，远远高于百分之十点五的监管要求，也高于百分之十四点一的中资银行平均水平。不良贷款率，外资银行。平均只有百分之七点零点七六，也是低于平均水平的。不良覆盖率，外资银行平均达到了百分之二百八十七，远远高于同类型的银行的平均数。After China's President Xi Jinping announced that China will significantly broaden its financial market access in the opening speech at the BOA Forum for Asia on April the tenth, two thousand and eighteen. A number of measures have been released to open up the financial sector. These measures will present new opportunities for foreign capital management institutions in China and overseas agencies yet to enter the Chinese market. This also means that China has ushered in a new stage in reform and opening up, with varying degrees of opportunities and challenges facing segments such as banking, securities, insurance, and asset management. 今年九月份，国家外汇管理局取消了 QFII 以及 RQFII 的额度限制，使得境外投资人更加便利地进入中国资本市场。这些都是中国金融业融入世界金融业的一个重要进展。从另一方面，中国正在专注于从自身发展。逐步变成一个在全球治理体系当中扮演重要角色的开放型经济体，这将为包括汇丰在内的外资银行和中国金融机构开展更多层次的合作，创造了广阔的空间。国内的改革开放的政策给我们带来无穷的上升空间。我们汇丰。发源于中国，我们的过去有着深深的中国的烙印，我们的将来必将也是根植于中国。我们对中国的改革开放充满信心，我们对中国的未来充满信心，我们会进一步扩大对中国的投入。会不断的加深对中国客户的服务的力度，我们的明天一定会更好。这就是我要说的中国金融故事。谢谢大家。